Hey, what's up everyone? Pasay Bonner here. We are now in this third and last game uh, for today and before the All-Star break. This is a Western Conference matchup between Minnesota Timberwolves and the uh, Portland Trailblazers. And this one will actually start at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So that's going to be 11 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. And I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller, please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. Approaching this game, Minnesota Timberwolves, they got a record of 38 wins and 16 losses. While for Portland Trail Blazers, they are at 15 and 38. Two different stories, man. Two different stories. Um, we all know that we actually provide free picks right here in our YouTube channel, Passe Baller. But for those who would want to avail our premium picks or premium packages, you guys might want to reach us through Instagram, Telegram, uh, WhatsApp, or even Messenger account. Um, just take a look at the predictions of our videos and you would see the details right there. Alright, let's take a look at it. Uh, this, the spread that is given is minus 9. That's given towards Minnesota Timberwolves. Now, Portland Trailblazers, they would have the home court advantage on this one. Uh, but in terms of momentum, I think this is quite obvious. We got to give it to Minnesota Timberwolves, man. They are on a three-game winning streak. They have won seven out of their last ten. Not only that, they are on top of the Western Conference uh, standings. While for um, Portland Trailblazers approaching this game, they are on a five-game losing slump. And they have only won three times out of their last ten. Now, in terms of fatigue, I guess both teams actually rested last night, right? Um, yeah, both teams did not play last night, so we can just skip that part. And actually, both teams actually, uh, these two these two teams actually just played each other a couple of nights ago, and Minnesota Timberwolves actually defeated Portland by 12 points. Now, let's just go ahead and take a look at health and availability. Uh, let's start off with Minnesota Timberwolves. For Minnesota Timberwolves, Jalen Clark is confirmed out for this game. And we got Wendell Moore Jr. and Anthony Edwards, arguably their best team, um, both confirm and um, both listed as questionable or both as game time decisions. So again, uh, they have uh, Clark out for the game, and we have and they have a couple of more players, a couple of other players, including. Ant-Man or Anthony Edwards uh, tagged as questionable or game time decision. So that's that should be some good news for Portland Trail Blazers, right? Um, for Portland Trail Blazers, I see five players confirmed out. Robert Williams, Moses Brown, Shaden Sharp, Malcolm Brogdon, and Rupert. So five players confirmed out. And we have Scoot Henderson, their, their rookie right here, listed as uh, game time decision or questionable. So it's quite obvious Despite the fact that um, Anthony Edwards is on IL for Minnesota Timberwolves, still, Minnesota Timberwolves got the advantage in terms of health and availability. Now, I'm not going to overthink stuff. Um, normally, um, if a team actually uh, plays one another, just like what, just like this one, you know, they played one another a couple of nights ago, and they would play one another again, normally the one who lost the previous game will win this one. But... I don't think it's going to be applicable in this particular case. I mean, come on, man. Portland Trail Blazers, they are one of those struggling teams that we have in the NBA. And not only that, their health just can't, you know, just can't get right, if you know what I'm saying. I understand Minnesota Timberwolves. There's this possibility that Anthony Edwards would not play. I'm not going to be surprised if he would, you know, if he would be sit down on this particular game. Because of course they gotta you know they gotta give him some rest because of his knees. But I, I feel like it's it's not gonna matter. You know, it's not gonna matter if uh Anthony Edwards would play or not. Minnesota Timberwolves they got a lot of momentum. Minnesota Timberwolves they have a lot of talent, they have a lot of size that can actually is uh that can actually go up against Portland Trail Blazers then that can actually cover the spread, which is just nine points right now. Portland Trail Blazers, um if only they were healthy. Man, this team would be great. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, they got Aiton. They have, uh, they have Anthony uh, Simons, right? Uh, they got Jeremy Grant. They got Malcolm Brogdon. They have a, they have a couple of giants off the bench. Robert Williams and that uh, Badgy guy, right from Africa. Man, come on. 
But again, Portland Trail Blazers, as long as they would actually have like four or five players in IL, they would continue to struggle just like this one. So our, our pick on this one would be Minnesota Timberwolves minus nine. Again, that's Wolves minus nine. Peace out. Pass love and God bless.